Hello and welcome to this learning video. In the last learning video, we have discussed about the mathematical expectation, variance and problem based on discrete random variable and continuous random variable on mathematical expectations. In this learning video, we are going to talk about the new topic that is moments and moment generating function. So in this topic, there are two types of uh, moments. One is moment about the mean and second one is moment about the origin. So let me talk about, let us first of all talk about moments about mean. So this is also known as the force of deviation of the value from its mean. Okay. And it is defined for the random variable x with value mean mu. Then the rth moment or it is also called as the rth central moment of x about the mean. This is important because we will define the same thing one time for mean another time for origin okay so it is given by mu r is equal to expectation of x minus mu to the power r right and this r can take value from 0 1 2 and so on okay so on the basis of this definition we have different properties like mu 0 if we substitute mu 0 over here so what is it expectation of an x minus mu to the power 0 and anything power 0 is 1 so this is expectation of 1 and expectation of constant is a constant okay likewise mu 1 what is mu 1 mu 1 is expectation of x minus mu power 1 then you can just separate the expectation this is expectation of x minus mu what is expectation of x that is mean of x so mu minus mu will give you 0 to be more precise you can write like this mu minus mu is equal to 0 okay and for mu2, it's a straightforward definition of a variance. So mu2 is expectation of x minus mu whole square is equal to variance of x and it is denoted also by sigma. Okay, now we have to define the moment about mean for two random variables. One is the discrete, another one is the continuous. So for discrete random variable with probability function f of x mu r is equal to summation x minus mu power r into f of x so there would be a summation when we talk about discrete random variable and when we talk about the continuous random variable there would be a density function and summation is replaced by integration that's it okay so this is all about the moment about mean okay now if you know what is moment about mean, you can easily find out the moment about origin. You just need to write mu is equal to 0, right? So, the rth moment of a random variable x about the origin is defined and denoted by mu r dash is equal to expectation of x minus 0 power r, that is x power r, okay? And r can take value 0, 1, 2 and so on. And certainly, if you put r is equal to 1, this is nothing but the expectation of x or what we call it as mean of x, okay? Now, if this two definition is clear to you, we can talk about the relation between moment about the mean and moment about origin. So, just give me a moment to just uh, write it down and then I will explain what is this. So, the next one is relation between relation between moment about mean and moment about origin and moment about origin. Okay, so moment about origin we denoted by prime. Okay, this dash and moment about mean we write it as mu r. Okay, so let me write down the this relation with the help of which we can get its expansion. Actually, I am writing. So what is mu r dash? Mu r dash is uh, what is it? Mu r one. Then. That is like, no, it's not 1, this is dash. So, mu r is equal to, okay, mu r is equal to mu r dash 1 minus r c 1 mu r minus 1 dash. It's a binomial expansion type. Uh, then, r c 2, then mu dash r minus 2 into mu square plus and so on. If you want, you can write more terms. 
and so on plus I am writing here plus minus 1 to the power k k the term will be r c k mu dash r minus k into mu k plus and so on if you want to write the last term you can write it like minus 1 power r into uh, r c r that is 1 mu 0 dash into mu r ok so this is uh, you need to remember and if you if you can't remember this whole quantity then you can just remember like a uh, few things which I am writing it as remember because in most of the problem uh, you may see that you have to find out first four moments about the origin so the first one is mu1 is equal to mu1 dash this is the one then the second one is uh, mu2 is equal to mu2 is equal to mu2 dash minus minus mu square okay and then third one is uh, I'm just uh, writing it down mu3 is equal to mu3 dash minus 3 mu it's uh, rc2 rc2 is r I think okay then 3 mu 2 dash mu plus 2 mu cube and the fourth one is fourth one we have that is the lengthy one mu 4 is uh, mu 4 dash minus 4 mu 3 dash mu plus 6 mu dash 2 in mu square and the last term is 3 mu to the power 4 okay so these are the four things that you need to remember and you can get it from uh, substituting the values over here put a uh, m is equal to 1 then you'll be getting mu 1 1 and likewise the other these are very elementary things that's why i have just uh, copied down from the book okay so next next definition is of a moment generating function okay so the next definition is moment generating function that is the third definition moment generating moment generating function okay so this moment generating function it is defined it is defined and denoted by it is defined and denoted as expectation of expectation of or it is first of all it is denoted by mxt and it is given by expectation of e to the power tx okay or it is also written as like moment generating function m of t is expectation of e to the power tx expectation of e to the power tx so this is the definition now again like uh, uh, if this random variable x is discrete and if it is continuous then again we have two more definition so i will write in short for for discrete random variable with probability function yes that is very important with with probability function with probability function the moment generating function uh, sorry for uh, discrete random variable with probability function the moment generating function that is uh, mxt is given by what is it this is expectation of e to the power tx and this can be written as summation of e to the power tx into f of x this is into e to the power tx into f of x likewise for continuous random variable also we can define for continuous random variable with with density function with a density function the moment generating function mx of t or m of t is given by expectation of e to the power tx 
and it is like integration from minus infinity to infinity e to the power tx into f of x dx. So this is another definition for moment generating function. Okay, now the next definition is of characteristic function and then we will stop at this moment and we will continue taking the examples. Okay. Next definition is of characteristic function. Number four. Characteristic function. So what is characteristic function? So the characteristic function is is defined is defined and denoted by it is defined and denoted by what we can write it is defined by phi x of omega this is the notation or it is sometimes also right is like phi of omega and it is defined as expectation of e to the power i omega x okay e to the power i omega x or uh, in moment generating function, in terms of moment generating function also it can be written as moment generating function of i omega x and we know that what is moment generating function of i omega x if it is t e to the power okay moment generating function of x i omega if it is x it is e to the power t x so if it is like this then we can define in terms of expectation of e to the power i omega x if it is t e to the power t x, if it is omega e to the power i omega x, then again for same for I can write here also. So just to save some time, I can just uh, you just remember the definition of moment generating function. You can easily uh, define for discrete random variable with probability function. What is it? Phi x of omega is given by expectation of i omega x okay and it is given by summation of i omega x into f of x likewise you can define for the continuous random variable with density function so this is phi x of omega is nothing but expectation of i omega x and is given by integral minus infinity to infinity i omega x into f of x dx. So these are the basic definition that uh, I think you must uh, know for this characteristic function. Apart from this, let me write down one note for you which will be very handy in solving the problem. So you just need to remember this note mu r dash is equal to rth order derivative with respect to t of mxt of mxt at r is equal to z so sometimes what happens sometimes uh, you have to find out the uh, moment about the origin okay and uh, nothing is given to you so what you can do is you can just find out the moment generating function and take its derivative like put r is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and take the derivative to get the moment about the origin. So this is what we have in this learning video. So go through it thoroughly because the problems are based on these definition. If these definitions are known to you, then you can apply on the problems and it would be very easy for you to solve problems on this topic because oh, Calculus is there, only calculus. You just need to solve the integration, take the sum, that's it. Okay? So, thank you for watching this learning video. Good day.